Hey guys, Norm over here. I'm here at my warehouse and uh, we've had a lot of requests about, uh, you know, the warehouse here. And uh, I just want to say to a lot of the young people that watch our stuff, um, this is what happens when you save when you're young. And, uh, you know, I think that you guys really should be thinking about that at an early age so that you can accumulate things, either collectibles or buy stocks that are safe stocks, like stuff based on the S&P 500. You know, buy long-term quality things, buy and hold. So I hope that you guys, uh, you know, prepare for possibly rainy days, because this is a rainy day right now with the COVID thing. You guys will all live through it. So let's hope that, uh, you know, you guys do the right thing and start putting some money away and saving. So let me show you some stuff. We're gonna start pulling some things out for you to look at. And uh, so there's a bunch of different boxes here with different things in them. They can't see it, but it's a surprise. Can't really say, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's thinning out a little bit, but there's still a lot of stuff. That wow. See over here. All right. Okay. All right, let's start opening yeah, something. Older. All right, we gotta so start going. <laughs> let's start the... What do you wanna look at? Well, let's take a look. Let's. There's so many there. to choose from. I know. We should have a, something we're looking for. I think that's a T-Bird base. Red one. Should I take some of the stuff off? Hefty locks. So what this is, is a reverse body Thunderbird base, I think it's 64, it's in like SG red, and it's a double pickup, very nice condition, um, it's got this road case that came with it, that I got, um, and it's just really cool, so uh, this one we're probably going to bring out, no repaired neck, which a lot of these have, um, very pretty. Do you remember who you get these from? Well, some of them I've got 30, 30, 40 years ago. So yeah. I remember generally what's going on with them, but I mean, to remember them exactly, yeah. I don't know. So it's been a long time. Um, uh, this over here is a slab board Telecaster and it's in almost like new condition. It's a... This one looks like probably a 62 slab board in just amazing condition. Um, this, I remember this came with an appraisal from George Bruin, but this was many, many years ago. And this was from uh, 12, 14, uh, 2012. Crazy. Or, uh, you know, no, I think this is 92, I'm sorry. So, beautiful brown case. You know, a lot of these, when these things came around and they were in just beautiful condition, and I thought I may never find ones like them again, I just kind of stash them away, and I thank goodness I did, because uh, it's, it's good to have these things as you get older. <laughs> so this over here, I remember where I got this. This I got with my D'Angelico, um, the one that says Bob on the top. This came from John D'Angelico's nephew, Bob. And I bought a D'Angelico guitar in this, which I believe is a 59 Stratocaster, two-tone sunburst, just in crazy condition with the hang tags. That's just ridiculous. Pretty amazing. So, uh, wow. There's just a hint of red, but almost none. Original brown case. Now, this is um, very similar to the Telecaster. This is an Esquire, and it is a 1963. A little bit of edge wear here, but overall really clean. You can see it's an ash body. Got a little bit of flame on the neck. 
is pretty stunning. Wow. I got this from, this came from, uh, um, I don't know, Oregon. And this is a 66 uh, Fender Strat in Dakota Red. L one little chip over there, a couple little things, wow. little stuff on the back, but so really cool. nice. So this is a 66 large headstock. Um, transition logo, big frets that they used at that point, and uh, just a really beautiful, amazing example. And uh, I remember this guitar at the time that I got it. Did you say whoa? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so, oh, oh. This is a 19, I believe it's a 66 or 67. Esquire in Lake Placid Blue. I got it with a brown case. I think the guy added the brown case to it. Um, but also a really beautiful shape. That is so cool. A little bit color. of edge wear. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Lemma, what do you think of this one? Oh yeah, that's crazy. Wow. What is it? Like, like 60 Lake Placid seven, Blue? Yes, Lake Placid Blue. I mean, a lot of these have old strings. There's, I think flat ones on that one or something, right? Or no? No, they're not flat, but they're old. They're old. <laughs> yeah. um, absolutely amazing. Perfect neck. Yep. It's kind of like that modern C. Very easy. Mm. Wow. Norm, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> He's a madman. <laughs> you're crazy. What year is that Fiesta Red Strat? Uh, that's a 66. Wow. This is, a, I believe, a 67 um, Sunburst Telecaster. Ooh, that and this came from Northern California. Um, got the tags in there with it. Wow. This one, I think we may take over to the store today. That looks like a great playing guitar. <laughs> and then yeah, this yeah, one here is a yeah. 50s uh, Esquire. This, I believe it's a 55 or so. It's got the round string retainer Telecaster in amazing condition. Beautiful ash body. Wow. And, you can uh, really see it. It's very, very pretty. Lemo, you're... <laughs> Brandon says I keep going to the corners. He keeps, he goes to the corner and plays the guitar while he's doing the like, video. <laughs> this <laughs> is a uh, Ooh. gold, uh, it's gold. It almost looks like it could be a faded burgundy mist, but I think it's gold, uh, like harvest gold, mm -hmm. um, Jaguar. Ooh. Oh, wow, look and oh, God, I God. know where I got this. Um, this shiny. guitar, I sold years ago and I was able to just trade to get this one back. This guitar, it's signed by Bobby Rydell. Okay. And this guitar I got originally years ago when I first bought it from Frankie, Av from Frankie Avalon's son, Tony. There's a picture of Tony with the guitar. Wow. And there's a letter in there, um, you know, really cool. that, uh, this Jaguar was given to me by Bobby Rydell during the Golden Boys tour. Tony Avalon. So cool. So rad. And you guys know Bobby Ry Bobby Rydell was a big rock star back in the day. So cool. At Volare and Swingin' School and a bunch of great tunes from back in the day. Yeah. And then as we move over here, this is a, I believe it's a 59 or early 1960 uh, precision bass. Just a little drop of red in the sunburst. This is the kind here. This is one of my favorite instruments. Um, really great slim neck. It's got the original flat wounds on there. Original brown case. Now this guitar,